Ex Komusubi Chiyotairyu, interview star on the channel last June, has turned his focus to mixed martial arts in the latest leg of his self searching journey. The 35 year old makes an MMA debut on Saturday, February 18th, against far more experienced Kosuke Kindaichi. No connection to the fictional detective, who is some 64 kilos lighter, but believes he can dance his way to the win. I reckon Taidu's got good impact power, but as Sumo is based on the concept of collisions, I wonder what will happen if I keep my distance and slide away. Will he even get near me, I wonder, said Kindaichi on Friday. They say Sumo is the toughest of sports, and I'd fancy a wrestler's chances against anyone on the street, said a typically chirpy Taidu. Kindaichi, get working, get sweating, and give me your best shots. Let's just see what happens, he added. Sumo wrestlers, as you know, have not had the best of times in MMA over the years, but Taidu won't be bothered by that. I believe our interview amply revealed him to be exactly the type of guy who'd jump into this sort of thing. Back in his former profession then, Yokozuna Terunofuji travelled to Meiji Shrine yesterday to perform a ring-entering ceremony to mark the start of another year. Not since 2020 had the public been fully allowed to watch. Some 2,500 spectators turned up. We've had a pretty dark start to the year, Teru said of the Noto earthquake and Haneda airport crash. And I want to provide some positive news by getting back in the ring, he continued. Bring on 2024. He further underlined that intent by imposing himself on Isegahama group practice today, facing stablemates Takara Fuji and Nishiki Fuji, and beating them eight times from nine. Nikan Sports described him as relaxed throughout, coolly repelling his opponent's power in a way which belied his lengthy absence. He continued his habit of bullishly asking reporters how they felt he looked. I mainly fight around 10 times a day while monitoring my hip condition, the Yokozuna revealed, and I'm doing all that's within my power. And if I wasn't planning a comeback this month, I wouldn't be training like I am. That same group session saw his newly salaried pal Takeru Fuji contest 22 practice bouts. The occasion got to me a bit at first, he said, but I got into the swing of things and now want to carry this energy into the tournament itself, putting up lots of spirited fights. Now, the previous day, Friday, had seen the Tokitsukaze group practice held in the Kokugikan's training area. Defending champion Kirishima, the group's head wrestler, made the short walk across the street to come and dominate the session, with 16 wins from 18. His chosen opponents mainly consisted of guests from outside the stable group. Fellow Ozeki Hoshoryu, ex Sekiwake Wakamoto Haru, and current Sekiwake Daesho. Hoshoryu he conquered four times from five in a heavily ego fueled contest. It was great to face him for the first time in ages, Kirishima said, and I had to halt things early today as if one of us gets excited, the practice just never stops. Overall, my sumo is feeling good. 24 hours after that, today, Kirishima would take himself to the Nishonoseki group practice for 26 more bouts, posting further promising figures of 17 and 9. That session at Takadagawa Stable saw him call out Shona Noomi first, just as he did in East Hiroshima, and wallop him four to none. He then took on Kotonowaka and bested him five to one, before turning to Ono Sato and beating him four to one. Takano Shou he then forced to submit twice in three encounters, 
but had he burned himself out by then? For when rounding things off against Takayasu, he gave up six bouts from eight. I was poor against Takayasu at the end, but still had several takeaways from that, he said. More important than the result is outputting all of your power and skill. I wanted to fight 30 bouts plus, and perhaps I could even have done so, but my stamina was clearly giving out at the end. I need that extra stamina now. Don't forget, it's only my second day coming back to full training, and I'm still getting myself into shape. I'll be guesting here at the Nishonoseki practice again tomorrow, and upping my bout count yet further. He's a tough opponent for me, so I came in fully prepared, Takayasu said of their exchange. I was concentrating on hitting well and slotting into my favoured stance. After successive 10 win hauls, Takayasu wants to bid for Ozeki again, just weeks shy of 34. Kotonowaka, meanwhile, faced Kirishima after going 8 and 2 against other salaried members there. I got a good number of bouts done today, and I'm grateful the Ozeki noticed me. I'll be heading in with the same frame of mind tomorrow, he said, perhaps silently plotting a form of sumo revenge. Overall, as I'm fighting different foes here, it's harder to form my favoured stance, but I'm still able to dictate certain bouts, said the Ozeki hopeful, who opted to take on men he'll likely be facing in the actual January meet. And he was the face of the group there today, as Takakesho was absent. His neck is playing up again, said his master Tokiwayama. It's never going to fully heal, so he simply has to live with this pain now. But he can't come to a session like this just to stand and watch. That would be improper. He's still working on the basics now, and has not fought any practice bouts. He's trying to get himself ready for the All Stables practice on Monday. I'm sure many journalists are wondering if Takakesho will even compete this time. Finally, Onosato's reaction to being summoned by Kirishima was this. I couldn't believe the champion wanted to practice with me. I went in with utmost respect for him. And according to Nikan Sports, even managed to push him out as well as attack him on other occasions. Onosato was presumably fresh from having enjoyed some very succulent tuna, freshly delivered from the Toyosu fish market on the day of the customary New Year auction.